Welcome to my new polytunnel. If you are interested in growing tropical and heat loving plants like chilies, aubergines, and even tomatoes, a polytunnel is a necessity and not a luxury in the UK. We started using a polytunnel three years ago, and this particular one in front of me has been here for about two years. Now, there are a few things we've learned and I'd like to share with you that might help you when you use a polytunnel now. One of the major reasons I have a polytunnel is, like I said, heat loving crops. And also it's a special hardening of stage. So when I start my seeds, I start them indoors. But when I need to get them out, I need space away from my home to harden them off. And the polytunnel does that job beautifully. It gives me room to harden things off. And even things that are hardy, like brassicas can come in here, onions, they can harden up before I take them out. Now, once or if there is a Frost predicted I use a fleece and I cover everything up and other times I just leave it there. However, <laughs> there are some hard lessons we've learned. For instance, look at this cover. We've had to replace it. You see all the holes? It makes the polytunnel absolutely useless and it's a huge, huge landfill problem. To be honest, I regret having these green ones. But to be fair, they're quite cheap. They are affordable. So for the person that wants to save money, this is what I would recommend as your first sort of buy. However, if I had the option and if I could afford it, I would definitely not be going for these green blowaway ones like they notoriously are called. I'd rather get a greenhouse or a polycrub or a proper polytunnel that has at least a 10 year shelf life because there's no point changing this after every two years. So yeah, we initially got this and we didn't realize we needed to take the cover off every winter. So we buried the skirt. Now burying the skirt is so vital. If you don't want your polytunnel to be blown away by the wind, you need to bury it all around to ensure you secure it. And you could even put some more reinforcements indoors. Like we have pegs all through inside to ensure this thing doesn't blow away. So burying that skirt, I would repeat you must do and you see we're trying to dig it out now and that is the only way we've been able to secure this without tr any trouble when we've had really gusty winds so that has not been an issue the blowing away but the cover has been really bad now the first thing we had the very first month the zippers broke so we had to buy this replacement zippers now these zippers and notorious for doing this and people recommend if you want to buy a polytunnel buy one with hinge doors but those ones come with an extra probably 50 hundred odd pounds added to the cost which could be a problem if you are on a tight budget trying to grow your own food and the leaks mix everything like wet and the plastic was everywhere microplastics everywhere on everything and this was just so heartbreaking so i really wish and i hope i can protect this new cover by taking it out every winter that's what someone that's had his for over five years does and bringing it back in and then hopefully repairing patches that are not this massive it's also difficult to wash this particular type of polytunnel so when you have all the mold and the algae growing on it once you wash them because they're so brittle they just start breaking down so washing them has been just like a no-no and you can see the windows the vents all ripped apart just by wind and just by the the harsh weather so yes would i get a polytunnel again i think yes i would unfortunately it's not the best for the environment because the plastic dumps goes into the landfills but all in all i am grateful that i have this space i can grow my tropical heat loving plants and also enjoy my piece of my allotment a little bit better so once again i hope you've learned something has this video added value to you do you know what to do now when you need to get one of these polytunnels and how to reinforce it and also how to help it last longer if you have any comments and tips to share, kindly let me know in the comment section. And until next time, I'll see you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.